welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as turn on the post notification bell also down below for my channel to be notified of all of my future uploads. So today's video is going to be about this gorgeous hair that you see me wearing today. This is a wig that I made. I was sent bundles and a frontal from clayhair.com. This is my first time ever working with clayhair.com and I must say that I'm really impressed with their hair so far. I really, really, really do like the quality of the hair, but we're going to jump right into the unboxing process. So my hair came through USPS. The shipping was two-day priority mail shipping, so coming from China, the shipping was really, really fast. When I opened up my package, I received my hair in this box that says Clay 100% virgin human hair, and then on the back of the box has like your... Your do's and don'ts for caring for your virgin hair, which is really helpful if you are a beginner um, and you don't really know how to take care of your hair. It is helpful that they have that information here on the back. So when I opened up my box, I received a weaving cap. I also received a 13 by 4 16 inch frontal as well as four bundles of 16 inch Peruvian straight hair. And I did use about three of the bundles to create this wig. I used the frontal and the bundles. I sewed the frontal onto a wig cap using my head and then I sewed the three bundles using my sewing machine onto the spandex mesh dome cap. So when I did unpackage the bundles, I did notice that the hair was really, really full and very thick and they were double wefted, which I really did like because I did not have to use all of the hair that I ordered from them. However, if you are getting a closure, then you would need three and a half bundles because a closure is only a small part of space here at the top. So you would have to fill in the rest of the wig with the wefts. I got a lace frontal and that is, you know, 13 inches across and then four inches to the back. So that did take up a greater space on the mesh dome cap and I did not have to use as much hair to complete this wig but because the hair was really really full that was another reason why I did not need to use as many bundles. I did also inspect the bundles and I noticed that they did not have any unusual random split ends on the bottoms of the hair. The hair um, looked really really healthy from the wefts on down to the ends. The hair did not have any smell at all. It didn't smell like shampoo, it didn't smell like coffee, it didn't smell like corn chips. It had absolutely no scent at all. The frontal did come pre-plucked, but I did have to go ahead and pluck more hairs from the frontal as well as cut baby hairs into it. And I also did bleach the knots and tint the lace as well to make it look as natural as possible. I do also like the fact that this frontal did have a good density. It wasn't too thick, it wasn't too thin, and it did come with Swiss lace. So the Swiss lace was really soft and it did blend into my skin to give it that melted type of look. Okay, so let's jump right into how I styled this hair. I knew that I was going for a really thick, full, trendy type of feathered bob and I knew that I wanted the bob to be kind of asymmetric and also layered as well. I know I just said a lot, but basically I was going for a blunt cut bob that was kind of asymmetric in the back and I wanted it to be layered in the front because I'm just so obsessed with doing this when I have bobs. So I wanted it to have like this nice layered effect in the front. And I knew I wanted it to be wispy but full at the same time. So I spent a good, good chunk of my time trying to perfect this bob and I am just so in love. I knew that I wanted to try a midnight blue color, like a sapphire bluish color. Something that you can wear if you work in an office because it looks black to the naked eye but when you get up close or when you're in the light or when the sun hits it, it's, it's this beautiful, beautiful bluish, almost purplish color. It kind of looks like a denim blue on camera but in person it gives you that denim blue look but it's also purplish in the sun. It's really, really beautiful. I don't even know an exact color that this compares to because it's kind of like two different colors blended all into one. Midnight blue is a really really difficult color to do. I know that it looks easy or it may seem easy because it's like one level above black but it's a difficult color to do. Any blues and reds I try to stay away from because those are the colors that bleed a lot. Um, when you do have blue or red hair you would have to constantly keep putting dye on it because it bleeds so much when you shampoo it. And those are also really hard colors to 
to emulate as well. So yeah, blues I'm not a fan of, but I do really like the fact that this hair looks just gorgeous. I did have to bleach it a total of two times. So I bleached it the first time and it didn't lift evenly all throughout. So I had to bleach it again and then that lifted it to a higher color. Although the color did come out after I bleached it two times, it did come out to a medium brown color. It wasn't bright blonde, it wasn't light brown. It did come out to like a medium brownish color. So after the hair was bleached, I did mix two different hair colors together to create this custom color. I used Joyco's True Blue and I also used Joyco's Sapphire Blue. So I used about four tubes of the Sapphire Blue and two tubes of the True Blue. I mixed it together to create a custom color and then I applied it to the hair. And after I colored the hair, I just went in and I started chopping. It took me a good two hours to perfect this haircut because when I get behind a wig and I'm trying to cut it, um, especially into a bob, I cut it to perfection. Like I'm such a perfectionist and I want it to be a certain way. So it took me, I would say over two hours to get it like this. And I am obsessed with the haircut. I am so obsessed with it, especially with this hair color. I think it came out so dope. So this hair has not been shedding after I bleached it twice and put dye on it and I've been flat ironing it and styling it and all that but I have not been noticing obsessive shedding with this hair. It does shed the normal amount that hair should shed. So that is good because I did not seal the wefts at all. However, I do suggest if you are planning on bleaching or dyeing hair, I do suggest you getting a not sealant for your frontal as well as sealing the wefts on your wefted hair if you do plan on keeping it in for a while because that's kind of like an insurance for your your hairstyle it will basically make it last longer because it won't be shedding as much and I definitely do suggest you guys go and check out their website I have all of the information down below in the description box so make sure you check that box out and if you have any questions at all please feel free to leave them down below in the comment section and thank you so much for watching my name is beige if you have not already be sure to hit that subscribe button down below as well as turn on the post notification bell for my channel and I hope to see you all in my next video Bye, guys.